Hello, amazing artists. We're going to make a landscape inspired by Georgia O'Keeffe's artwork. You will need your landscape drawings, two containers of water, a sponge or paper towel, watercolors, a brush, a 9 by 12 sheet of mixed media paper, and crayons in cool and warm tones. Choose your favorite landscape drawing to use for your project. Grab your blue crayon and create a line drawing of your landscape. Begin by painting your background with yellow paint. Make sure to soak your brush with water first. Paint your background including the sky and sun with one wash of yellow watercolor. Rinse your brush in your dirty water container, dry it, and dip it again in your clean water before loading it with purple paint. Paint your mountains in purple. We are using warm tones like yellow and purple for our background areas. Rinse your brush and load it with blue paint. Paint your middle ground or hills with a blue wash. Rinse your brush and load it with green paint. Paint your foreground with a green wash. Rinse your brush and load it with orange paint. Paint your sun rays or parts of your background with an orange layer. Rinse your brush and load it with red paint. Paint your sun or another area of your background with a red layer. Rinse your brush one last time and let your painting dry. Once your painting is dry, you will use your crayons to shade or add darker areas to your painting. Start with your warm colors like orange and shade the areas that you painted with the orange watercolor. Color the sides of the shapes only. Make sure to leave some of the watercolor layers uncovered. When shading, it is easier to use the side of your crayon instead of the tip. Continue to shade all of the orange areas. Grab your yellow crayon to shade the yellow sky. Again, only color a section of your yellow area, not all of it. Grab your red crayon and shade the sun. Grab your purple crayon and shade your purple watercolor areas. For the mountains, I will color all of the edges. Grab your blue crayon and shade your blue areas. Grab your green crayon and shade your foreground or green areas. Grab your light green crayon and color the trees or shrubs in the foreground. I'm going to shade the light green shrubs with a darker green color. You just completed a mixed media landscape using watercolors and crayons to create a sense of space. <laughs>